grocery store. Here we go. We are visiting the U.S., not moving back, just visiting, and we're gathering lots of comparison footage of different things in the States versus Brazil. So if there's anything you want to see, please let us know in the comments. Anything we can show you, compare U.S. versus Brazil, whatever, let us know. We're going to make that happen. We are at Guanabara Supermarket and it kind of looks like we're at a mall, like a shopping center, but this is actually the downstairs of the supermarket. It's one of the biggest differences of supermarkets between Brazil and the States is that within a, a um, in a grocery store, there's a lot of other like opportunity for businesses like shops and restaurants and uh, pharmacies, but this is a grocery store. It's not a shopping center. Upstairs to the grocery store, here we go. Check out the sign above. It's also worth noting that you get preferential treatment in Brazil if you're heavy set, if you're overweight, if you're pregnant, if you're handicapped, or if you have a baby. You get to cut in line and get in front of everyone and everyone lets you pass. So preferential treatment in Brazil. There are many different shapes and sizes of markets in Brazil. There's small little mini ones, there's mid-sized ones. This is a big one. And I wanted to show a big one because I'm going to compare it to Walmart in the U.S. But we're going to check out and see the different products they have here, what you can find in Brazil that you can't find in the States, and kind of the unique things that they have in their supermarket. So in Brazil, you'll find a lot of meat on the shelf. It's preserved, it's delicious, it's healthy. Um, in the US, you won't really, you won't find any meat that's not refrigerated. And uh, there's a large variety of different types of meat. There's even some fish, lots of meat that's preserved in its own way that doesn't need to be refrigerated. And it's actually delicious. to show you the most amazing Brazilian sweets right here. Check this out. Okay, so here we have Doce de Abobra. This is sweet pumpkin. This is a boatload of goyaba. And then we come over here, that's cocada, that's uh, coconut. And then we have all these sweet figs and cherries and cake and brigadeiro. Oh, this is so good. Here we have one of my favorite cheeses that you can find special here in Brazil. This is called Queijo Minas Gerais. This is the fresh version. Uh, Minas Gerais is a state here in Brazil and it comes right from there, so it's specific to Brazil. This is amazing. We love to eat this with sliced goyaba. We've fried it inside of pastels. You can eat it with anything. And today, this is 35 pay ice for this big block of cheese. It's delicious. One other thing our kids love about Brazil is this drinkable yogurt. They drink it by the gallon pretty much. It's delicious, it's healthy, you pour it into a cup, you can mix it with fruit, but it's drinkable yogurt. It's delicious. So here in Brazil, milk is another big difference. All the milk you buy is on the shelf. After you open it, it goes in the refrigerator, but, but we buy this brand. It's the best, it has the most vitamins. But we buy it by the case and we leave the case in our pantry and then as we grab out containers and open them, we put them in the refrigerator. But you buy all your milk on the shelf to start. And right now, this brand is 5 pay 75 centavos for one liter. 
Farinha de mandioca is uniquely Brazilian. Brazil is the only place where you can get farofa, farinha. They mix this with a few different things. Butter, uh, grilled onions, bacon, eggs sometimes, their beans. Farofa is it's like ketchup to Americans. They, they uh, eat this with everything. Beans and rice for sure. And um, it's uniquely Brazilian. You'll find it varieties, different brands in Brazilian markets. This is made from the mandioca root. It's dried and ground down. Um, and we don't have mandioca in the States. Okay, tapioca right next to the mandioca flour. This is amazing. I've never seen this in the United States. You can make all kinds of good food with this. My favorite are the it's called beiju de tapioca. It looks like a tortilla, but it's uh, it's flat. You don't need oil or anything. You just heat this in a pan and it solidifies together. And then you can put salty things like eggs, cheese, ham, or you can do sweets like Nutella, banana, strawberry. So this is one of our family favorites. So these are our favorite chips. We have a few of our favorites, fandangos. These are really unique to Brazil. These are batatas palhas. They're little like shredded fried potato chips. And Brazilians put these on hot dogs, hamburgers, on um, stroganoff. So they put it on a lot of different food. They're really good. Here's some of my favorites. Biscoito de povilho. They're yummy. It tastes like cheese. They're crunchy and salty and yummy. They have cheesy, salty ones, and they even have sweet ones. We eat these a lot. Eggs. We eat a ton of eggs. Here in Brazil, you buy your eggs on the shelf. They're not refrigerated. Uh, that's not a bad thing. They're still fresh and delicious and good. Um, but we've been living here for four and a half years and I've never put my eggs in the refrigerator here in Brazil. So when we buy them, sometimes we buy two or three of these because we're a family of seven. We put them in the pantry at home we don't refrigerate them once we get them home and they last the same and they're great save space in the refrigerator and today here they are almost 16 hay ice per 30 eggs sorry 16 hay ice per 30. here we have the incredible amazing guaraná this is a delicious soda found here in brazil we love it my family loves it and uh, I particularly like the no sugar version, Guarana Zero. And um, you can buy it in the bottle, in the can. It's something amazing from Brazil. If you come to Brazil, you have to try this. You guys, I just discovered this. Uh, first of all, Gustavo Lima is one of my favorites. He's like a super amazing Brazilian singer. And who knew he had his own energy drink? Uh, Coco and Acai. <laughs> The cereal aisle is very different here. There's about 10 cereal brands behind me, and this is actually big. Most grocery stores, I feel like, have like four or five different cereal brands. Some of them are special to Brazil. There are some American cereal brands, but the fact that it's a small section is unique. In the US, it's aisles and aisles long. It, there's like 50 different cereal brands, hundreds and hundreds of cereal boxes because we love our morning sugar cereal. So this is different, but it's cool. If you are a ranch lover, you will not find ranch anywhere in Brazil. You got to bring it yourself if that's what you want. There's no ranch here. Just a heads up. They do a barbecue sauce. They do have other dressings that are okay. It's better just to make your own fresh if you're here in Brazil. But bring that ranch if you're gonna uh, be staying for a while. There's so many products and so many foods I could share, so many delicious things we love in Brazil, but that's all for now. Now we're gonna do a comparison of us in the United States. See you there. Okay guys, I am here in the United States continuing the video of the weird different, different and strange things between the US and the Brazilian grocery stores. We're at Walmart, which I would say is pretty comparable. We're gonna go check it out here at Walmart. And I chose Walmart because it it really 
does remind me a little bit of extra because they have a couple of other little stores up front. I'll show you here. Okay, so behind me, that black sign, that's a hair cutting place. And this is a vision center. So this is a place where you can buy seeing eyeglasses and get evaluations. Also, there is a Dunkin' Donuts and a FedEx here at the front of Walmart. And Walmart is the only grocery store in the States that offers other little businesses in the front. You can kind of see way down there is the donut store. Um, otherwise, you'd never see that at grocery stores and you see them almost everywhere in, in Brazil where they offer all kinds of furniture stores and pharmacies, whereas Walmart itself sells its own furniture and invests like millions of dollars in creating its own pharmaceutical brand where you can get medications filled and any sort of over-the-counter drug. And that's the biggest difference is like all the conveniences in one spot, especially at Walmart. Let's check out some crazy foods. I'm not a drinker, but it is kind of cool to see all these American flags everywhere, especially in these uh, alcohol boxes. <laughs> We're in the refrigerated section, and this is one of the reasons why Americans are so fat is because we have at our fingertips frozen beef and cheese taquitos. We have a plethora of frozen burritos. We have like thousands of different frozen meals that you just microwave. And I know there's a little bit of those in Brazil, but Americans take their frozen meals seriously, which means they're highly processed and preserved. But we have frozen hamburgers, we have frozen sandwiches, both refrigerated sandwiches. We have corn dogs, hot pockets. I was raised on those. We have pizza bites and don't judge, I am getting some pizza bites for our kids because they, they love it. <laughs> I'm complaining about how fat Americans are, but we do treat ourselves to a little bit of these things when we're back. Hey, 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 look what I found. Look what I found. Brazi Bites. Brazilian cheese bread, cheddar and Parmesan. Can you believe it? <laughs> Ponja Keju in the US, this has uh, pepperoni in it. That looks good. Just want to point out that all of the meat, 100% of the meat is refrigerated. Uh, but this meat, the Americans, don't do it the same. You won't find any shelf meat. It's all refrigerated. Okay, we gotta talk about macaroni and cheese. This stuff is the American staple. We got Kraft macaroni in the blue box. It's the cheesiest. We love these things. We miss these things when we're in Brazil. I usually try to bring some back for the kids, but American staple right here. And just as a side note, I've never seen these before, but we have Cheetos Flamin' Hot Mac and Cheese and Cheesy Jalapenos. So these look intense and a little crazy, but that's what we're doing. All natural peanut butter. Do you remember Adam's No Stir? Fresh natural peanut butter. All these kinds, they used to be my favorite. All these natural butters, I love them so much. Uh-oh, look at this. This is broken, but this is peanut butter and jelly together in one jar. I don't know who broke it, I didn't, but I'm just showing you that that's convenient, mixing it together. Okay, we have our beloved peanut butter. I just wanna point out how gigantic this thing is. It's like bigger than my head, uh, but grew up eating Skippy, it was amazing. We have huge portion sizes here, big huge jellies. We have salsa, croutons, we have big huge jars of beans. I've never seen canned beans in Brazil and it kind of doesn't make sense when you think about it to sell cooked beans when you can just prepare them yourself, but we do here. We got pickles and uh, Great big thing of Miracle Whip. This is amazing. So here we have a large amount of canned soup. We have New England clam chowder. That's very American clam chowder. We have chicken and rice, chicken cheese enchilada, 
mushroom. Uh, I saw some chicken noodle. But we like our prepared food. So we have all these soups that we like to throw in a bowl, put it in the microwave, and eat it with crackers or bread. I prefer fresh. Are you guys ready for a massive sugar rush? Here we go, check this out. This is the cereal aisle. Now, the cereal in the US is insane. It's pretty much nothing but sugar. Uh, American children are raised on bowls of cereal every morning with milk, but it's just dye, sugar, uh, and just generally not very healthy. But the crazy thing about it is that the U.S. alone has over a thousand brands of cereal. So this whole aisle and the other side as well is full of cereal and cereal boxes. Americans love their cereal. And to me, it's not healthy um, to have sugar for breakfast. I prefer oatmeal, eggs, toast, that sort of thing. But um, I was raised on this and it's good. Mini wheats are one of my favorites. And I'll show you some of the particularly sugary kinds. Pokemon, Captain Crunch, Apple Jacks, Trix. We have Cosmic Brownies, Fruity Pebbles, PJ Masks, Reese's Puffs, Cocoa Puffs. We have Wendy's Frosty Cereal. Ooh, look at this, slime. Lucky Charms, marshmallows in your cereal. Cookie Crisp. We have churros, cinnamon toast crunch, and more. So the stomach ache continues. There are so many donuts and cupcakes and boxed brownies in the US that it's like overwhelming. Let me just show you a few of the best. Oreo brownies, peanut butter cupcakes, triple chocolate cakes, zebra cakes, more cosmic brownies. Um, we have lots of donuts, hostess cupcakes, and honey buns, and more. Okay, syrup is one thing that, uh, to be honest, at specialty stores in Brazil you can find, but it's really expensive. But in all the stores in the US, we have our whole variety of syrup. This is actually about to make me vomit. Fruity Pebble Syrup, never tried this. I'll never buy it because it's just doing too much anyway. But um, in the US, you know, we have our fluffy pancakes. <laughs> we have our fluffy pancakes. You can buy pancake mix or mix it yourself. But I just want to point out the options. Lucky Charms pancake mix, uh, Fruity Pebbles pancake kits. These are a uh, cake brand where you used to make like a actual birthday cake, but now they have just add water and make pancakes. So these to me, it's just getting too crazy and out of control. Um, another reason why Americans are fat, I would suggest if you're gonna have pancakes, maybe once a week. Otherwise it's a lot of carbs and sugar. We have giant campfire marshmallows, and then we also have marshmallow cream, which you can use for desserts. This whole mess is what our youth calls for today, is epic cookie kick. Cookie mixes and brownie mixes, like everything has to be extreme and big and crazy. And really it's all giving me a stomach ache. Okay, this is one thing I really, really miss, canned pumpkin. This might seem weird, but Americans eat a lot of pumpkin desserts. So pumpkin muffins, I like to make pumpkin oatmeal muffins, but cakes and breads as well, pies. And uh, we love to crack open our can and throw a can of pumpkin into some dessert. In Brazil, I feel like it's chunks of pumpkin are made more into stews and things like that, which are also delicious. Um, but I miss the convenience of a good pumpkin dessert. Don't ask why, but we love to can fruits and vegetables all over the place. Uh, and here we have canned sweet potatoes. I don't know, it's what we do. I actually like them in a can. We make uh, desserts out of this, or you just open it and bake it with either salt or brown sugar, but um, sweet potatoes in a can is something that you will find only in the US, definitely never in Brazil. 
this is the baby food aisle. You have jars and jars and jars of pre-made baby food and powders and multi-grain mixes all for babies. And this is one big thing that I notice living out of the country is that um, I have barely ever seen any baby food whatsoever in Brazil. No big sections, um, maybe just a little here or there. There's not a lot of formula. Most women in Brazil breastfeed. We breastfeed too in the US, but um, there's a current baby formula shortage and Americans are really concerned about that. But I would just encourage everybody to nurse your babies, breastfeed. It's liquid gold. It's beautiful and wonderful. Nurse your babies and also Here's some more sweet potatoes. These are disgusting and expensive when you can just make your own fresh sweet potatoes, blend them yourself, feed them to your babies and freeze them if you need to. It's healthier uh, just to do it at home. But this is a big thing that I've noticed is that all these quick baby food options, you don't really find them at all in Brazil, but we have lots of options here in the US. Uh, behind me is the baby formula section. I had to show you this because it is under lock and key because of that shortage, that problem right now and the issue with theft. Uh, it says security cameras in use. Please see Walmart associate for assistance. So this is intense. This baby formula situation, it's hard. Um, but again, if you can nurse your babies, I highly, highly recommend it. But it's just something that we're doing here in the U.S. Okay, so this is cow's milk. All the cow's milk in the U.S. is totally refrigerated, usually in gallon sizes. This is chocolate milk, one gallon, and one gallon is almost four liters. In the U.S., you can find some milk on the shelf, but that's usually going to be soy milk. But all the cow's milk is refrigerated. And here's something else that's different is we like to kind of break up the fat. So blue lids are 2%. Red lids are full fat vitamin D. This is what I buy for my kids. And then also we have skim milk. And these purple lids are skim milk. So 0% fat as opposed to the red, lid, red lids, which are full fat. So I don't know, we like to have our variety of milks. I say go for the full fat and all the calories for your kids. Okay, last but not least, the pharmacy. So Walmart and Save Mart and a lot of grocery stores invest in their own brand of pharmacy. So these guys are a full service pharmacy. Get whatever script you have from the doctor, bring it here, they can fill it. And then they have a massive pharmaceutical section with all of the over the counter drugs. Um, so this is one thing that's unique is that there's never a separate pharmacy. I shouldn't say never. There's usually not a separate pharmacy in grocery stores because they invest in their own brand. It's just um, something American companies like to do. It also provides all that uh, income and revenue and market share for the grocery store that they don't have to give to another brand. There are separate pharmacies like CVS that you can find on street corners as well. But a lot of the grocery stores have their own built-in pharmacies, which are really convenient. It makes it a one-stop shop. So at this, um, at this grocery store, okay, I gotta give a shout out to all the delicious ranch. We put this on everything, chicken, pizza, sandwiches, salads, and vegetables. We're bringing these home.